what's going on guys now here today i'm bringing guys a brand new video yes i have a mic on because i want to see um how it sounds so i just connected a pair of headphones i want to see i'll listen back and see if uh the mic sounds good anyway so in this video uh it's a little late and uh actually pretty late but i'm gonna be um reviewing all the tim hortons mini stick I don't even know, um, Tim Hortons NHL Superstar Collectible Mini Sticks. So, there is six, um, things. You get these at Tim Hortons for, like, $5. Um, yeah. They're really cool. You guys will see what it is once I open one, but the player, it's pretty much here. You guys will see when I open it. It's a little bit of a surprise, but the players that, uh, it comes with, it's like a, a little stick. Like, a, there's a stick in here. You guys will see. But there's uh, Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon. They actually made a goalie one, thank God. No one ever makes goalie anything. It's actually a goalie stick. <laughs> Gary Price, Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby. Uh, I have two Connor McDavid, actually. Don't know how. So I won't even open that one. Um, and then Al Kovechkin. So maybe there's... There's only five. I was counting my extra McDavid one as a sixth one. There's only five, so let's get to it. Uh, I will go. Wait a second. There is six. I knew I was missing one because there was no Leafs one and Mitch Marner from the Leafs. <laughs> I'm sorry. So there is six. I just counted my McDavid one as the next one. Um, let's go. Nathan McKinnon. We're going to open each one, and I'll review it. Now, I've had these for a couple of months. I've had the full set, but I never really opened them. I just kind of put them in a drawer. And I have shelves, and I'm going to put them on my shelves soon. Uh, they just need to be put up. I just got shelves. So. Yeah, I've already seen them, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure you guys have seen them somewhere. But So when you first open it, it looks like this. There's a box. It's the horns. pretty much the same thing that's on the box outside of it. open it so there's the stick there's a cool picture of him um some stats uh like he was born in halifax he's number 29 he's a centerman he plays for the colorado avalanche 200 pounds he shoots right and just kind of like some facts if you guys want to read that screenshot that if you can even see it well but yeah that's pretty much everything that's there and then again there's most of it there's a no whole second part in french that's why it looks like there's so much writing. And they replicated the stick from the 2019-2020 season, I believe. So I don't know if he still uses this stick. Can you, uh... I only have my lamp on. This is pretty bad lighting, but... Um, this stick is the CCM Ripcore. Gray, black tape, white tape. Yeah. There's honestly not much to these videos. Sorry, but should I turn my light on? I feel like maybe I should turn my light on for better video quality. I will do that one second, guys. Guys, I think it's better lighting. Yeah, it seems to be better lighting. It is pretty late. It's like 11:30 at night, but couldn't can I'll give you guys a little bit of a better view now that there's better lighting. Again. Facts, picture, here's a stick. So maybe see a little bit better. Not quite sure. It took me about two weeks to get the full set, maybe a little longer. Plus, I had to go to America to get Marner, Ovechkin, and Price. No. Yeah, it took me a while. There's, I had to go to America to get a couple of them because we were going shopping in America when COVID, before COVID got bad. Here, where I live, before COVID got really bad. So we went by Tim's. We saw all them all displayed. They had like a little checklist on which ones they had left. It just happened to be the three I didn't have. So my parents ended up just getting them. So anyway. Um, yeah, they're made by Framesworth. I don't know. 
I should say that, but I guess the company that made them is Framework. So, next, uh, who should I do? This cool, actually. Let's go with Vetchkin. Vetchkin, I think, looks really cool inside. I've seen this. I like this one. Vetchkin, he's number eight. He plays for the Washington Capitals. He is one of the best first hockey players. Debatable ever. Um, okay, I don't know about ever. But definitely top ten Russian players of all time. Again, I get off topic so much, my goodness. So it looks like you guys can get first look this time. I'll read you guys some of the thing. Uh, so he's born in Moscow, Russia. He uh, is number eight. He's a left winger. He shoots right. He's 236 pounds. He's six, and he's 6'3". Um, you guys, I think you got it. Oh, he's the captain of the Washington Capitals, the great eight. Picture. I really think that looks sick. I really do like that. Okay. Now. This stick is the Superstar Apex AS2. CCM Superstar is all it says. I'm not good with player sticks, honestly, guys. <laughs> like, my favorite goalie stick has so far has been, like, the... I don't know. I'm looking into the chew pads. I just ordered a new set of chew everything. Pads, glove thing, like uh, everything. Yeah. Um, that's like his actual tape job, by the way. I think it's so cool how, like how to the T they replicated it. Like I guess he doesn't tape his stick. Like, yeah. That's that one. Uh, I don't know what kind of stick this is. CCM Superstar. Uh, honestly, I think that's it. I don't really think there's much to his stick. Okay, next let's go. I'll save the goalie one for last. I'll just go, um, I'll have them like all lined up here. I'll just go from the line now. I don't know why I flicked it, but Sidney Crosby, 87. He is the captain. Of the oh my gosh I don't I just remembered this the first thing I find so funny they put it very small in the bottom corner but they literally put not a toy yeah I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go take this play my NHL debut game with this five dollar stick cup winner stick right there okay uh yeah um. Not much to say, to be honest. Like, there's not a lot to say about these. I just thought they were really cool. And when they first came out, I didn't see a video like this. I just saw all of them, like, searching up the the prices and stuff. Like, some, there were some TikToks about it. But I just thought I'd make a video like this. Uh, yeah. It looks like 87. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. I don't think I can. Cause it's yeah. He's the captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. He was born in Harbor. I don't know how to pronounce that. He's eighty-seven. He's a centerman. He's five eleven. He's two hundred pounds, and he shoots left. Fun fact: Him and Nathan McKinnon grew up as best friends, and they still are very good friends. Just play for two different teams. Is that for a couple seconds? This uh, stick is the CCM. Oh, another rip core. CCM rip core. Um, doesn't say much about it, so. Focus. No focus because it's so small. Yeah. Sorry, the quality is not the best, guys. I wish I could make a better quality video, but I'm filming on my phone for now. I'm working on getting a camera. Hopefully, soon I will be getting a camera. Uh, but I apologize for now. I guess I'm, I have the iPhone XR, so I guess it could be worse, but also could be better. Next, let's go. Ugh. Connor McDavid is. 
fantastic player, but he bugs me. I don't know why, but he bugs me. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. In my opinion, I think instead of Marner, they probably should have done Matthews, if I'm being honest. I don't know why I feel that way, but maybe because they don't they didn't think Marner got enough respect or whatever. Anyway, like I said, McDavid he bugs me enough. I I already said I have two of uh two of McDavid. My aunt's friend, uh they were giving they were giving them away for free. So my aunts uh, they were like, Do you want one for free? Because I guess they're trying to get rid of them. So she goes, uh she thought, Yeah, I'll get one for Danielle, my friend's niece. Because uh, I'm like close, like she knows me. She knows I love hockey. Uh, so then my aunt gave it to me because they work together. So yeah, a little bit of a short story there. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I guess this is what the back of the box looks like. This back of the box. That's what the back of this looks like. Framework. Um, yeah. You guys get first look a lot again. He's the captain of the Edmonton Oilers. I think okay if they did, if they didn't do Matthews they should have done Leon Draisaitl like that, that I don't know why I, I, that bugs me. So Connor McDavid was born in Richmond Hill Ontario. He um, shoots left. He is number ninety seven centerman and he is one hundred ninety three pounds and six one. Obviously I don't think that weight is anything anymore because this was probably close to two years ago when they recorded all of this look down so. And his stick is his stick is the super tracks. Don't know what kind of stick this is. Cause this is CM super tracks. Full tape job, very small little tape job at the end there. I don't think you can hear it, but sorry, my sister's boyfriend and a couple of her friends over, and they're playing NHL 21. They took my NHL game and brought it downstairs with my sister's Xbox. They're being very loud. I don't I don't think you can hear it, though, because I honestly can barely hear it, but if you do, I'm sorry. So, yeah, that's what the McDavid one looks like. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'll let you guys know in a separate video. I'm not going to waste two minutes in this video looking, but I want to see if I can find... Any difference at all between these these two? I don't know why I want to, but I do. Okay. Uh, so I'll go Marner next. Mitchell Marner. If you guys don't know, I'm um, I'm a hockey goalie, and I'm a huge Toronto Maple Leafs fan. And when I first became a Leafs fan, watching the games, Anderson was like the guy. Everyone was talking about him. Everyone thought Anderson is going to be our future. Didn't pan out that way. We signed him to a contract at the end of his contract. It's not going too well for him, but uh, I have his jersey, and this is an Austin Matthews jersey. You just can't uh, see it. Wait, can you? Four. There's a. There's the four. Can you see? Uh, well, you can kind of see the three there for a second. I don't know why, but that's Matthews. Austin Matthews. This is Mitchell Marner, his uh, dual partner. They're very good people in the NHL, so. Yeah. Box. I'm happy they did a Leafs player, thank God. Wait, are they all, they're all Canadian teams, aren't they? Washington, no, Washington's not Canadian, are they, is it? Montreal, Canadian. Edmonton. Pittsburgh. Washington's not Canadian, no. Washington's the only non-Canadian team. At least I think so. Is Washington in... Oh my god. I can't even blame that on anything. I'm just stupidly dumb. I'm having a brain fart though because I'm pretty tired. But I don't think so. But if it is... I'm pretty sure it's not. But if it's in Canada, let me know. Because I feel like an absolute idiot not knowing that right now. I don't know how I don't know that. But... Um... <laughs> Before I show you guys this, I'll just say what I normally say. He was born in a place. Uh, he's number 16. He's a right wing. He's six foot. He, he weighed 175 pounds. Shoots right. Um, 
Yeah. Look how good this is. My husband here right here. So actually no Anderson is my husband. I take it back. Sorry. <laughs> um so he uses my favorite line ever in hockey. It's fairly new too. True. Uh, he uses true hockey stick. Um, AX9. True AX9. Finally a stick that I know. So yeah, there's not much to say. I just wanted to make a big deal because... So he will definitely be at the top when I put this on my shelf. So Last... Uh, I chose it for last because I'm so happy they did a goalie. They hardly ever do goalies for things like this. I was lucky enough that the rarest card, the rarest card you can get at Tim's is the red Carey Price. I have it. I'll show you guys. I have it. It's the rarest. It's not worth anything, but it is rare. So it might be worth a little something, but the rarest one you can get. Thirty one K price. Uh I would say top arguable not top five goalies of all time, but I'll give him top ten goalies of all time. Best goalie I've ever seen. Oh sorry, I hit that. The best goalie I've seen. But not best goalie of all time. Just no. Um top ten for sure though of best goalies of all time. This year, he's not even top ten goalies in the league, but of all time, you look at his previous seasons. It's kind of hard to argue if he's not top 10 goalies of all time. So, here you go. Uh, again, I'll do the same thing. I'll say the facts first and then show you guys. Oh, amazed every time of how good this looks. Carey Price, he was born in uh, Anaheim, uh, Anaheim Lake, BC. He's number 31. He's a goalie, obviously. He catches, uh, like me, he catches left. The only right handed catcher goalie I know is uh, Michael Hutchinson. He's our third goalie this year. Uh, I'm sure there's more in the leagues, but one of the main goalies that I know catches right is Michael Hutchinson. So, yeah, he catches uh, left. Said that he's 6'3". He weighs 217 pounds. Just look at I'm amazed. They made these look so clean. That's a sick picture. Um... I would that I I kind of wish they did something a little cool with that, but I mean it's it's fine. I just like the fact that they actually did a goalie. Now this stick is the uh, that feels pretty cool. Listen to that, like the the tape job, like it's actually Richard, but cool shot. If, okay, if you're if you're a goalie, how do you shoot with both hands, right, at the grit, like before the paddle, or one here, one here? I I've, I've seen goalies do it in my league before. They'll put two hands here and shoot. You shoot like this. Like when you're going to clear the puck as a goalie, you put one hand here, one hand here, and you shoot. Don't get how people put two hands by the grip. I don't know if you've seen a goalie do it, or if you're a goalie, if you if you don't do it, if you do it. I just don't get that. My little rant for the day. Probably done like five rants in this video. But, yeah. Uh, sorry if this video was one of the worst videos you've ever seen. I'm also sorry I haven't posted in a while. I just forgot to, I forgot to say that. I just realized, but, yeah. Uh, it's late. I was bored. I was watching one of my friends stream. Uh, he got off stream. I got bored. I'm very tired, but uh, it's a school night, and it's 11.30, and I decided to film a YouTube video, so that's fun. Um, just put those away. And, yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. More videos are coming out soon. I needed a bit of a break because when I first started this YouTube channel, I was pumping out videos, and I just needed to relax. I, th I have a... Where'd my book go? Maybe I don't have it in my room or on me right now, but I have a little book. I made some video ideas, uh, practiced a little bit of hockey, uh, put my, my goalie pads on a couple times. Um, 
Yeah, happy Easter. It's a day after, two days after Easter Sunday. Just went back to school. Yeah. Um. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoy it. I don't much else to say. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And bye. <laughs> Sorry, that was. I I'm honestly acting weird because I'm overly tired. <laughs>